I think that gets a hit, right? Skelly Dread? Nice! Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I am going to be showing you the top 5 best decks after the May 2024 balance changes. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. With the first deck I'm going to be playing here, it is going to be Lava Loon Void. As you guys know, Void is the best card in the game right now. It just came out like 3 days ago or something like that. And I think that the Void pairs perfectly with the Lava Loon. Just because, I mean, it's 3 Elixir and it takes out stuff like Archer Queen, Little Prince, Phoenix. And it even takes out Swarm units like Minion Hordes and Bats. So, very versatile spell. Very strong spell as well. I'm going to have to defend this though on the right with my Skeleton Dragons. I feel like Lava Loon got a huge buff with the Void spell. Even though Lava Loon is already very good. I think I can go for a Balloon in front of these Skeleton Dragons because he just wasted the Phoenix. I know Phoenix and Spells are his only air counters, like Phoenix, Void, and Arrows, so I think I should get damage no matter what. Okay, not bad. I get a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy, though. Also, the Evo Bomber got nerfed, so I have the triple spell in here, Evo Zap, Arrows, and Void. Basically, just making sure they're able to take out any air card possible or air defense because... A lot of people are stacking up on Swarm units now because they need to block the Void. So you have the Zap and the Arrows to clean out Swarm units. I think I have to Lava the Bridge here or else my Mega Minion's going to go to waste. At least I could force out the Phoenix. His next Bomber and next Skeletons are Evo. I have to be really, really careful. Okay, that was kind of a bad Fisher. I'll just Arrows here to clean out the Bomber so then I can just go for my Evo Barbs on defense. All right. Yeah, he tried to go for the Evo Skellies. That's why I was kind of hesitating on the Evo Barbarians. I'll just zap that and we're good. A lot of damage with that Lava, actually. I think if he doesn't defend these Barbs, I'll get like a Swing or two. Oh, never mind. Wait! Oh, one hit! Let's go. I'll take it. I'm going to go Skelly Drag's Mega Minion here. I need to stack up so he can't Void. And then I could maybe Void his Balloon. I like to put the Void on the side so it can actually like hit the Balloon only and stuff like that. Alright, I'm fine. I'm just going to set up with another Lava Hound. I know he has Evo Bomber in Cycle, so I have to be careful. Okay, wait, maybe I won't Lava. He's going to try to predict it. Yeah, I'm going to Evo Zap here on the Bomber, and then I can just go for my Barbs. I think I won. I just need to go for a Balloon here. I'm going to Skelly Drags first, of course. I could even Lava the Bridge. It could be a bit risky, but... Nah, I'm fine. I'll just Void on Defense if I need to. Just Lava the Bridge here, and then Balloon down the middle, and there's just nothing he can do. Okay, I'm going to defend first. Mega Minion Void here on the Giant. And it's just looking like wraps, guys. It's looking like wraps. Just going to go for the Balloon down the middle. And this is a good game. Even if he doesn't take a Balloon hit, the Death Bomb plus my spells will be enough. I think that gets a hit, right? Skelly Drag? Nice! And GG's. Beautiful win right there. I'll see you guys with the next deck. Alright, guys. With the next deck here, I'm going to be playing P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. I feel like P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam with the Wizard is actually very, very good right now. With the Void being so popular, Evo Wizard is not completely resistant to the Void, but it's very good against Void and typically doesn't die to Void as long as you play with it correctly. And then with all the nerfs to many evolutions, I think that P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam is much, much better now. And I think that the Evo Battle Ram is kind of underrated, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are saying it got overhyped. I don't think it got overhyped. I just think that it didn't really have the greatest meta for it, but now I think P.E.K.K.A. could be very strong. Okay, I'm going to Battle Rim here to protect my P.E.K.K.A. from the mini P.E.K.K.A. I want everything to die to my li uh, Little Prince. Damn it, bro. First Little Prince stutter of the video. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to zap here on the Sparky last second. Also, Void Pair is very good in P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A.'s hardest thing to deal with are ranged units like Little Prince, Archer Queens... And then buildings like Tesla and Bomb Tower. But you have the Void and it takes care of all of those. So Void is a very good fit in P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. I'm just going to Ghost here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I forced out the Skeleton Army. And that Void earlier is exactly what I was talking about. That the Void is like such a versatile spell. It took out a Skarmie and Bats. Even though it doesn't take them out instantly, it still takes them out. So it's fine on defense. Okay, I'm going to Void here on the Sparky. It will force out a response or the Sparky's dead because... Void fully counters a Sparky if you don't block for it, which is crazy to me. Alright, I'm going to LP here. He has a Minion Horde? Wait, I'm going to Wizard here. This is where the Wizard will come and clutch, and now I can just zap on top of the Minion Horde plus Sparky. I'll Ghost 2 just to make sure that my li Little Prince lives. 
And wait, I feel like he can't really defend this. If I pop the ability, then battle ram, how do you defend? Wait, what? No, my LP died. Never mind. He can defend this for sure. He can just scar me now. But if my LP was alive, I could have done way more. Void, maybe kill a scar me? Okay, not bad, but it didn't kill them all. I'll get a bit of chip damage. I'll band it too in case he sparkies the back. Oh, beautiful. He has to waste his giant. <laughs> Let's go. Forcing out the giant early is so good for me. I can just Evo Wizard like this and... If he does mini P.E.K.K.A. behind it, then the mini P.E.K.K.A. will just get blasted opposite lane. Alright. Bad arrows. Arrows don't take off the Evo Wizard's shield anymore ever since they fixed the bug. There was a bug where the Wizard's shield was dying to the arrows, but now it's not dying anymore. That's another reason why Evo Wizard is so good, man. Okay, I could pop the ability here on the right. Oh, man, the Evo Bats. This Sparky Bait deck is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. If he giants off my wizard, okay, I'm just gonna band it opposite lane. And I'm not I'm not gonna evo battle ram. I think I'll save it. And then I'll void on the sparky. Oh, oops. At least I'm gonna hit it once. I think that's fine. I did a lot of damage to it for only three elixir anyways. And now I can wizard to splash the sparky in the giant. I think if I zap, it, it will die. Beautiful zap. Oh no, the minion horde. Wait, wizard? Oh wait, that was a really good evo zap. I'm gonna void here. Void, come on, kill the minion horde. LP, no, 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 no. Bro, I just lost. Wait, no, I didn't. Hold up. He's gonna Sparky right now. I'm gonna battle him, Evo. Ability to block anything, and then I can zap the Sparky. Zap the Sparky. That's gonna be one bounce no matter what. Bounce again, bounce again. Let's go. Nice, man. Good Sparky prediction right there to save the game. I almost lost because of the Evo zap. We're in the next match here against Furkin Arabachi. The next deck I'm going to be playing here is going to be Log Bait. I actually think Log Bait is really good right now. I feel like with the nerf to the Evo Bomber, the nerf to the Dagger Duchess, and a lot of the other nerfs to evolutions that we got, Log Bait is actually very good. Evo Tesla got a massive buff, which will help Log Bait out a lot on defense. The only issue Log Bait is having, in my opinion, is Lava Loon Void, but I feel like if you play very well, you can beat it anyways. And even if you can't, that's only one bad matchup out of so many decks. Giant took a really big hit with the nerf to the Evo Bomber. I still think Giant is good, but probably not with Evo Bomber. You're probably going to want Evo Wizard in there, and that's much easier to deal with because of how much more expensive it is. Furkin is playing Drill. Also, Drill was another one of the problem matchups for Log Bait last season, and Drill is going to be a lot easier to deal with with a 3-cycle Evo Bomber. Oh no, that was a really good poison. I'm going to log here. It may have been a good poison, but I do feel like it was a bit aggressive. I'm just going to Goblin Barrel. Eh, I'll wait, honestly. I could maybe get away with a Rocket, but I'll just go for the Knight in the back, play it safe. I'm also kind of baiting him to predict a Princess at the bridge right now. Because he knows I have it in Cycle, or at least he should know that I have it in Cycle. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to Barrel now since he's not predicting it. Oh, and there he goes to predict it. I can Princess the bridge now, though, because that Tesla does not block it. That's at least two shots. <laughs> Let's go. Princess the bridge is so annoying sometimes. It's a huge mind game as well. A lot of the time, you can just get such good damage or waste so much elixir from your opponent with it. Okay, I'm going to Evo Skellies here too. That was not the greatest ability. All right. That will waste a lot of the Dagger Duchess ammo, so I, I can Goblin Roll now. And I think I'll Princess the Bridge again. I don't think he'll expect me to be back so quickly. Yeah, one shot right there. Beautiful. I'm up about 700 damage. From here, I can just Rocket Cycle, but... I still want to control the tempo of the game with princesses and barrels. That's the thing. I have Evo Tesla for defense. I know he has another knight coming up. Oh, man. I have to be a little bit careful. Him having Evo Tesla, not Evo Knight, is helping me out a lot, though. Okay, I'll just log. I, I only took one hit from the goblin drill and one LP hit, too. I'll rock it. I'm basically just going to be trading rocket for drill poisons, but if I defend well, I'll win anyways. Okay, let me just Tesla here up high, then Knight for the drill. Oh, I'm going to have to E-Spirit. Okay, nice. This is zero damage right there. Not having to worry about the Evo Bomber is so nice. I'll rock it again. He got zero damage there, so I'm just stacking up damage on him. These high Teslas are very good as well. I could Princess the Bridge right now, but I'll just play it safe on defense. I'll log two. Beautiful. I'll Princess the Bridge right now. I don't think he'll expect it. Nice, one hit. He's going to have to arrows. And then I can just go for Evo Skellies at the bridge and just barrel E-Spirit because he has no arrows in cycle. 
All right, I forced out the LP, which is beautiful. I can just Evo Tesla on the left, and then... Dude, he's going to be so scared of Princess the Bridge now. I'll just Princess immediately. <laughs> Let's go. I just keep getting one hit. Okay, I'm just going to E-Spirit Log for the drill. Log does full counter drill by itself, by the way, guys. It's just much safer to do it with E-Spirit just to make sure you don't mess up your log. Nice, it hit the Ice Spirit. I'm going to go for the Skellies here. Block the Knight. Let's go. Blocking the Knight there is huge in Rocket, and that's game over. GG's. Perfect gameplay right there, to be honest. I'll see you guys with the next deck. Okay, guys. With the next deck here, as you guys probably expected to be in this top 5 deck list, it's going to be Giant Evo Wizard Evo Knight. This deck is still so broken, man. It did get hit hard with the balances, but it's still incredibly broken, and honestly, Giant itself needs a nerf. I'm just going to straight up Giant the bridge right now. I may not break through. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if I did, but even if I don't break through, it's just a good play. It's going to force out so much Elixir. Just arrows there, and he has to defend that knight. That's why this is so broken, because of the Dagger Duchess being so popular. Giant is one of the best cards against the Dagger Duchess, because of how much HP it has for the cost. I'll just Fisherman on the Mighty Miner here. Wizard is actually a good Goblin Drill counter, and I know this guy doesn't play with a big spell, so Wizards are actually going to be key on defense versus the Goblin Drill. I'm one night away from the Evo, so I'm probably just going to try to cycle to my Evo Knight. Okay, wait, I can just Knight here for the Drill. Ooh, beautiful knight. I love I love that I caught that, actually. Oh, no, what the heck? The goblin got nudged. Rip. Guys, I'm not going to lie. After trying log bait for the top five best decks video, I'm going to try to get number one in the world with it after the video. I'm not going to lie. So, guys, I'm, like, I'm not going to spoil anything because I haven't played it yet, but I'm going to try to get number one with log bait, actually, because, I, dude, I, I, I just know log bait's going to be good now. I just know it is. Bro, this giant knight, which is going to be hard for him to stop, actually. Hold up. I could Evo Knight the bridge here. He doesn't have any tank in cycle because his Mighty Miner just died. He's three cards away. That Fisherman's on the tower. Hold up. I'm going to Void on the Firecracker. And that should be some pretty good knight damage for me. He could maybe, like, block it one more time with something, but that's a lot of damage. Yeah, he just voids it. I'm going to Night Witch at the bridge. Maybe I could force out a Firecracker or something like that. Nice, let's go. Forcing out the firecracker is always good. And now if he drills, I can just go for my Evo Wizard. Activate my King Tower and defend the drill. <laughs> nice. This guy's pretty predictable. I think I could just giant the back here. I was going to giant the bridge, but there's no point to be too aggressive. Starting up in the back is always good against Goblin Drill. Oh, that wizard almost got a shot. He might firecracker, so I'll block it. Okay, never mind. I'm going to arrows on it. I just didn't want him to firecracker the bridge on the giant El Tesla. Ooh, that was actually a beautiful Tesla by him blocking the fisherman so the mighty miner can kill my giant. But I'll void here on the firecracker. It's dead. And then I'm going to go for the next giant at the bridge. I can just keep spamming. His dagger duchess has literally zero ammo. Oh, he messed up the log. He messed up the log. I'm going to night witch at the bridge. Oh, the egg died anyway. Okay, I'm going to arrows here on the firecracker. And then I have void for the next one. I'm just going to keep on spamming. I'm going to Fisherman the bridge. I think if I just keep going in at the bridge, I'll win the game. He pops the ability, but now that means he has no tank for all of my stuff. The Fisherman's on tower? Okay, nice. I got one shot. I'm going to Void on the Tesla, not the Firecracker. Okay, Void here, and then Evo Knight the bridge. Okay, that Tesla's dead. I'm going to Arrows here on the Firecracker. He will be back to another Mighty Miner in a second. Okay, he just goes for the drill. I'm going to Night Witch. Oh, he got the Evo Firecracker. All right, I, th I think that's my cue to stop spamming, guys. Oh, e Evo Knight? Okay. Never mind. I'm going to Void here on the Firecracker. Dude, I've been putting cards at the bridge for like the last minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to Giant again at the bridge. I'm going to go for a Knight at the bridge. Just putting all of my highest HP cards. I'll Fisherman to pull the Mighty Miner. And now I'm actually going to stop spamming because of the... Mighty Miner killing the Giant. Okay, I'll Night Witch on defense here. Hopefully it catches it. Okay, nice. I'm going to take a bit of damage, but I think it's fine. Oh, Wizard here predict the Firecracker. Oh, oops. Okay, I'm going to Phoenix for the drill. And I think I'm fine. I'm just going to go for another Giant. Wait, what the heck? Wait, he just let the tower go. <laughs> Let's go. GG's. We're in the next match here against Mr. GJC. The final deck I'm going to be showing you guys here is going to be Goblin Drill. I do think Goblin Drill is good, just not the version that my opponents had. 
I think that Goblin Drill with the Executioner will be very good. You still want the Evo Bomber in Drill. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to be using it for now. It's been working quite well. But I think you want the Executioner to make up for the, like, I guess, lack of Evo Bombers you get. Because Executioner is, like, another one of those cards that will hit the tower from the bridge. Or even, like, when it's not at the bridge, it's, like, barely not at the bridge. And it will chip out their tower very well. So, I think you're going to want Executioner in Drill now. It will also help out a lot against the Lava Loon decks that have been so popular. Ooh, nice Bomber Splash. I can't believe that hit the tower, actually. <laughs> no way. Executioner is also very good against the popular Giant Knight Witch deck that I just showed as well, so I think this will be a very good deck. I could also guards the bridge behind this knight just because the knight will take all of the Dagger Duchess's ammo. Oh, I forced out the bomber and the giant. Wait, what was that giant? <laughs> Why would you giant like that, man? That was not needed. Tessa will take everything out unless he has a void. And there it is. Okay, well, I'll just go for the tornado and then bomber down low. Bomber will clean up everything, but man, can't believe he just straight up went giant like that. Okay. Dude, I'm trying to find this giant skelly emo. Okay, there it is. There we go. <laughs> All right, man. D this guy, like, I want to be toxic because he's playing giant, but this guy's being so nice, so I'm going to be nice too. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure to spread positivity. <laughs> I mean, I'm not very great at following that advice, but I try my best. Okay, I can make a big push here, actually. I'm going to go Drill Tornado here, because I have the Executioner down, and then I have Guards ready to block the Void in case. Oh, wait, I'm going to Poison this? And then I could get a really good Nato. Nah, I'm not, because of the Fisherman. Wait, I need to Nato this anyways, just to make sure that everything dies. All right, there. I can Evo Bomber here to line up with the Night Witch, and then I can just Tesla on defense. By the way, if you guys don't have Evo Bomber, I do recommend using Evo Tesla instead of the Evo Bomber and just keep the Bomber in here. Because Bomber is a very good card even when it's not evolved. Okay. Beautiful defense here. I'm just going to reset with the XE in the back. Executioner causes this guy a lot of problems because if I block the Void, Executioner will just never die. He, he does have Fisherman for it, but that's not really too reliable because I can block it with guards and stuff like that. I'll Tesla here on the side. I'm going to have to NATO that too, but it's okay. Ooh, wait. I can just poison now. Thank God I didn't NATO because uh, the Tesla died of the void. I'll just NATO then guards. That should be no damage. Nice. Beautiful defense right there. I'm just going to go for the drill plus bomber here. Wait, what was that giant? Hold up. If I just drill bomber here, then Tesla on defense, he's going to be in a lot of trouble actually. I'm not going to poison. Wait, what was that void? He has no bomber in cycle. I'm going to go knight the bridge, guards the bridge, and then I'm going to go for the drill. And then I have Evo Bomber coming up too. If I just Evo Bomber the bridge, this is game over, guys. His dagger duchess has no ammo. He has a really bad cycle. I'm going to tornado this in, make the bomber splash, and GG's. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.